الله رب العالمين صلى الله وسلم على محمد وآله وصحبه وسلم إن شاء الله tonight we're going to study together the inheritance of the grandmothers since we have studied uh, the inheritance of the mothers uh, so inshallah today is going to be the inheritance of the grandmothers Sheikh Salih bin Fuzal Fuzan Hafidahullah Ta'ala he said the grandmother meant here is the full grandmother full grandmother who is entitled to inherit in other words it is very it is every grandmother related to the deceased through the mothers only such as the maternal grandmother her mother the latter's mother etc it is also every grandmother related to the deceased to the fathers only such as the father's mother the paternal grandfather's mother and so on a full grandmother is also the one whose daughter is a mother of the father a mother of the paternal grandfather or a mother of the paternal grandfather's father etc however the grandmother who is not entitled to inherit is the one whose son is the mother's father the mother's father or the paternal the paternal grandmother's father etc such as a grandmother does not inherit as she is regarded as a cognate relatives in short the grandmother entitled to inherit is either one of three the first is very important for us to pay attention to the one whose daughter is either <clears throat> the mother or a maternal grandmother of the deceased she is related to to the deceased only through a female lineage the one whose son is either the father or a paternal grandfather of the deceased she is related to the deceased only through a male lineage three the one whose daughter is a mother of either the father or a paternal grandfather of the deceased however the grandmother who is not entitled to inherit is the one whose son is the mother's father on the or the paternal grandmother's father etc in other words she is the one who has a male child whose immediate ancestor and offspring are two females provided that she is one of them is that clear it's very clear alhamdulillah right no. uh, what 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 does the last one mean anybody can can explain to us what does it mean the last one what does he mean by that i want to try you first before i answer it you want me to repeat it this is not what repeating right i think it's just to just visualize it somehow because yeah. when, when, when you're describing it right it's like right i kind of lost in the chain okay yeah it's just like so there are yeah, yeah. grandmothers that inherit and there are grandmothers that do not inherit yeah. so this is what the sheikh is talking about Where do we get right okay. all right but the the one that does not inherit which one the one who's the mother of two daughters daughter and the other daughter mm-hmm. two females right and there is a son so she, she does not inherit she does not inherit you 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 got it yeah. the one that has one daughter yes no son that inherits inherits yes mean, absolutely you mean the grandmother of that kind of yes of that kind of mother of the grandmother of the deceased of the deceased because now we have to look at the deceased Okay, so deceased right? grandmother. Okay, there there is a son for the grandmother. Sorry, the son is for the deceased. The son, the son, either he's got, he dies, or his father dies. So it depends. It depends who dies. So 
So let's in that say case. the deceased grandmother. Right. The well, deceased has a grandmother and then has a has two daughter. Yes. That's the case. The grandmother does not inherit. Yes, she does not inherit. Okay, one daughter. One daughter and is. Son, yes. And then they inherit. Yes. You get it now? Uh, if, if there's one daughter and yeah. son, they inherit. No, yeah. there's, there's one daughter and no son. And no son. Sure. Yeah. Okay. There's just, no just son. There's no, there's just no son. There is no man. Is that there's because more than one daughter? That's what it is? Is that two or more daughters, then, you don't, then the grandma doesn't inherit it, right? All right. Yes. Correct. Okay. okay. The Sheikh is said. However, the grandmother who is not entitled to inherit is the one whose son is the mother's father. The mother's father. Father. No, the father of the mother. Of the seasoned mother? Yes. So it's grandfather. Yes. Or, okay, you have the mother and you have, okay, look, like you have the mother of the deceased yeah. and you have her mother you get you get it so her mother will be a grandmother you understand okay and that one, the, the her daughter will be his mother <laughs> okay. you get it or you don't no, get it kind of you don't get it okay well, well, say now you say your mother yeah. your mother will be your mother right yeah, yeah, yeah. her her mother is your grandma yeah, yeah. That, no, that's, no, no. that's what we, we're talking about. Okay. So we're talking about the grandma. We're not talking about the mothers. Talking yeah. about the, the, yeah. the grandma. Uh -huh. Right. Tayyip. The Sheikh said the evidence that a grandmother is to inherit is derived from the Sunnah. So this is not in the Quran. It is just in the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Tayyip. And scholars consensus, so there is agreement among all the scholars. As for the proof of the Sunnah, it is narrated on the authority of <clears throat> Qabisa ibn Duwayb, may Allah be pleased with him, said, a grandmother went to Abu Bakr Siddiq, radiallahu anh, asking him for her share of inheritance. He said, there is nothing prescribed for you in Allah's book, the Qur'an. And it's true. There's nothing for you in the Qur'an. Allah did not mention Al-Jadda, the grandmother's share in the Qur'an. طيب. Nor do I know anything for you prescribed in the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Wasallam. It shows you that even the senior Sahaba, Sometimes they may not be aware of a sunnah. And uh, Sheikh al-Islam, rahimahullah, Ibn Taymiyyah, he has a book called Raf'u al-Malam, al-A'lam, lifting the blame over the scholars of Islam. And he mentioned there that even the companions, radiallahu anhum, some of the kibar companions like Abu Bakr Siddiq and Umar, they were unaware of certain sunan of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu It doesn't necessarily mean that, the, that that companion who reminded them of that sunnah is better than them. No, it doesn't mean that. Yes, he knew that sunnah that Abu Bakr did not know because he was present at that time and Abu Bakr was not present. So he was not aware of that sunnah. And Sheikh al-Islam, he goes into the difference between the companions, radiallahu anhum, when it comes to fatwa. So this one he may say it is halal, this one he may say it's haram, for example. And one will be correct and the other one will not be correct. You understand? Because one he heard from the Messenger of Allah, the other one he did not hear. So he... Uh, he based upon what he knows, right? So like here, Abu Bakr, he told her, I don't see anything for you in the Quran or the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Go home until I ask the people. Look. He then asked the people, 
أن المغيرة بن شعبة said I had been present with the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم when he gave the grandmother one sixth of the estate so he gave her one sixth of the estate طيب نعم Abu Bakr said is there anyone with you to testify that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم uh, did say Muhammad ibn Muslama stand and said the same as Al-Mughira ibn Shu'ba had said. So Abu Bakr granted her the sixth. He granted her the sixth. Another grandmother came to Umar ibn Khattab asking him for her share of inheritance. He said, nothing has been prescribed for you in Allah's book but a sixth of the estate. If there are two of you, it is shared between you. But whoever of you is the only one left gets it all. So basically, he gives her one. He gave her one six, and he told her if there are two grandmothers, they shared one six. And if there is one, she takes she takes it all. Right? So same thing here applies for the wives. Remember the wives, the wives. If they are in children, then they inherit how much? One eighth. So they share it. If they are two wives or three. This hadith related by the five compilers of hadith, except an Nasa'i. And it is deemed sahih, authentic by a Tirmidhi. It is also narrated on the authority of Buraida, who said the Prophet entitled the grandmother to one-sixth of the estate in case of the absence of the mother of the deceased. In case of the absence of the mother of the deceased. For example, if you, your grandma is Muslim, or she is not? Yeah. She is Muslim. Now, if, for example, her son is a Muslim and he dies, Okay? Then the, the son dies, so there is the mother and there is the grandmother. So in this case, does the grandmother inherit in the presence of the, of the mother of, of the deceased? Yeah. No. Hmm? She does not. There's only one daughter. Though. Wait. Because the mother, mother blocks her mother. Yes. Wait, but I thought female doesn't block. It, in this case, she does. She does. In case Look, of the grandmother, it does. It does. Okay. okay. Now, let me give you an example. The let me yeah. give you another example. We'll go, we'll go to the male and then we'll go to the female. Right? If there is a father and his father. All right, let, let me give you a scenario. Okay. Now, the son dies. His father is still alive. And his grandpa is still alive. Tayyip? In this case, the grandpa, he does not inherit. Why? Because the, the, his son blocks him. Because he is much closer to the deceased than the grandpa. But if the father is not there, he died. Then in that case, the grandpa inherits. You get it? Yeah. Okay. Now we go to the females. You have the mother and you have the grandma. Now the deceased dies. The son dies and he leaves a mother and a grandmother. Then who inherits the mother or the or the grandmother or both of them? Mother. Only the mother. Because the, the mother blocks the grandmother. The grandmother. Mm. Is that clear? So the same is for the daughter, right? 
So if, if the, 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 die, the person will die, has a daughter and has a grandmother. No, the daughter does not block. The daughter does not block. So mother block, not daughter block. No, daughter does not. I'll give you an example. Okay. A man dies, he leaves a grandmother and a daughter. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So how much does the grandmother get? One third. No. She gets one six. One third is the mother. The grandmother one six, yes. One six. One six. She doesn't get any, any any more than that. You get it? One six. So her the grandmother is one six doesn't change depends on like it it does not change. Okay. The mother, her share changes. Mm -hmm. The mother. The mother gets one third if there are no children. Yes. Uh, or there is another condition. What is, what is it? Anybody knows? There's another condition. Like, she will get one third. The mother gets one third in case there are no descendants yeah. of the deceased. And there is another condition. Like a different condition? There are no grand. Like, like there are no daughters or. No, like that's the same as the daughter. Okay. The grand, uh, the granddaughter, the grandson, uh, they are all the same as. Oh. Well, if it's two or more uh, sisters or uh, brothers or sisters, ah. Okay, more. now let's <clears throat> let me give you an example. The son dies, right? He leaves a mother, and he leaves one brother. He leaves one brother. How much does the mother get? One third. One third. One third. You get it? Because there are no children. He did not leave any children. Wait, the mother of the deceased? Yes. The mother of the deceased. This should be one six, no? <laughs> You're getting confused. No, because one six is well said. It's, it's a, no, one six if there are kids. There are no kids here. No, but not kids of the son. Of the deceased. The deceased. The deceased have no children. Okay, the, the son deceased, dies. The deceased has a brother. Okay, the, man, son, the son, the, her son dies, right? Her son dies. Okay? Okay. She's still alive. And... So the deceased has a mother? Yes. The deceased has a mother and has a brother. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So, how much does, does his mother get and how much his uh, uh, brother gets? One six? No, the, the mother, how much does she get? She wants six. No. You're not but, getting but it. But the mother has two sons. One son. One is, that, is dead. The one's dead. Oh, one so third. it's one son. He's dead. I thought as long as you have children, you get one, one six. No. It, it, no. It, the, 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 if the deceased has children, then the, the, if the deceased has children, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Those children's grandmother will get, she will get one six. Yeah. But if that deceased person has no children, no. then his mother, who died, will get one third. And if he had a, if he has siblings, yeah. It doesn't matter if he had siblings or not. Well, to do is the, the, the son. If he had sibling, no, no, if he had sibling more than one, she doesn't get one third. You get it. Mm -hmm. I give an example. Mm -hmm. He dies, he leaves a mother, he leaves two brothers or two sisters. So the share of the mother gets reduced to one sixth yeah. because of the siblings. You get it? But if it's one sibling, it does not get reduced. There's more than one sibling, then it's two. Yeah, two one up, she gets one six. One, she gets one third. Okay. But in the case of the grandmother, it doesn't change. One six all the time. It doesn't matter. You get it. Okay, that's all grandmother is... The grandmother, she always gets one six. We're not only for us now, we're only grandmothers. We're, we're talking about grandmothers. Like no grandfather concerned. Or no, 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 because we spoke about the grandfather in the previous lessons. 
So now we're talking about the grandmother. So the Sheikh he said, it is also narrated on the authority of Buraida, who said, the Prophet wasallam entitled the grandmother to one-sixth of the estate in the case of the absence of the mother of the deceased. So there is one condition that she gets or one six if the if the mother of the deceased is not there. Because if she is there, she will block her. Related by Abu Dawood and Dim Sahih, authentic by Ibn Sakan, Ibn Khuzayma, and Ibn Al Jarud. Sheikh said the aforementioned to a hadith imply that the grandmother has the right to inherit one six though as Abu Bakr Siddiq said, Umar bin Khattab indicated, there is no ruling for grandmothers in this regard in the Quran. This is because the ruling of inheritance regarding mothers that is mentioned in the book of Allah is restricted to the direct mother. The grandmother can also be called a mother. As Almighty Allah says, prohibited to you for marriage are your mothers. But she is not one of those entitled to, to the prescribed shares of inheritance mentioned in the Quran. Understand? So they are not, she, does, she is not mentioned in the Quran that Allah, you know, gave her a certain share. In spite of this, it is the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who entitled the grandmother to get one-sixth of the estate. So her inheritance is confirmed by proof from the Sunnah, from the prophetic tradition. Likewise, a grandmother's inheritance is confirmed by the consensus of the scholars. Consensus means agreement, total agreement. All of them agree. There is no disagreement among the scholars regarding the right of inheritance, either for the direct maternal grandmother or the direct paternal grandmother. However, they disagreed concerning other grandmothers. Ibn Abbas and some scholars entitled grandmothers to inherit, however, numerous they are, provided they are on the same level of kinship to the deceased, except the grandmother whose son is a non-inheritant grandfather of the deceased, and such as the mother of the mother's father. Some other scholars are of the opinion that only three mothers are entitled to inherit namely the mother of the deceased mother, the mother of the deceased father, and the mother of the paternal grandfather of the deceased. The non-existence of the mother of the deceased such as being dead is a condition for the grandmother to inherit. This is because the, grand, the grandmother is related to the deceased through the mother. And the legal principle is this regard, state, that whoever is related to the deceased through a certain person is prevented from inheritance by the same person, subhanAllah, except in certain cases. Scholars unanimously agree that the mother exclude all grandmothers from inheritance. How grandmother inherits? If a grandmother is the only surviving grandmother with the absence, i.e. death, of the mother, she is to inherit one-sixth of the estate as previously stated. However, the opinion stating that the grandmother, just like the mother, is to get one-third if the deceased has neither a descendant, heir, nor two or more siblings is irregular and unreliable. So basically, the sheikh is saying that, that, that opinion that the mother has the same right of inheritance as the grandmother, the same right of inheritance as, as the mother is not is unreliable opinion. So we don't rely upon it. It's not correct. The sheikh, he said, in case there are more than one grandmother and they are on the same level of kinship to the deceased, they are to equally share one-sixth of the estate as the Prophet's companions judge in such cases. The reason for this is that they are more than one and that the share of the grandmothers 
which is one sixth, is independent and equally divided amongst them, as there is no male heir who can share them. There, who can share them? Their one sixth share of the estate. Hence, one grandmother is equal to many grandmothers in this case, just like the ruling on the inheritance of more than one wife. So none of such grandmothers is more privileged as they all are on the same level of kinship to the deceased. Okay. So they're all the same. How can you have multiple grandmothers? Yeah, it's a possibility. But how? Like uh, the, the, the paternal grandma and the maternal grandma. Oh. Yeah. So there are two. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. So those are the scenarios. That's what yeah. scenario, right? Right. Yeah. Just like the ruling, on, uh, okay, then the sheikh he said if one of them is closer to the deceased, she is to take the one-sixth of the estate alone, whether she is from the paternal or the maternal side. Thus, such a grandmother prevents the other remote grandmothers. So the one that's closer uh, blocks the one that is remote, far. Blocks. Blocks her. She does not inherit. So the, the one who is closer to the deceased blocks the one who is further away from the deceased. If yeah, they, they, they have their embarrassment on the wall. Right. Mm. As they, all, they are all considered mothers sharing the same inheritance. So if they are more than one, but with different levels of kinship, the inheritance goes to the closest to the deceased. The grandmother also, uh, who, the grandmother who is the father's mother is to inherit despite the existence of the father. And likewise, the grandmother who is a mother of the father's father is to inherit despite the existence of the father's father, i.e. her son. Thus, she is not excluded by the one though which, which she is related to the deceased. In contrast, to the rule of the state, whoever is related to the deceased, to a certain person, is prevented from an inheritance by the same person. This is according to the hadith narrated by Ibn Mas'ud. May Allah be pleased with him. Who said regarding the grandmother and her son, she was the first grandmother whom the Prophet ﷺ judged to give a sixth of the estate, despite the fact that she had a son who was still alive. Related by a termidi. The reason behind this is that the grandmother, in this case, does not replace the one through whom she is related to the deceased in her inheritance. So she is not to be prevented from inheritance in case that person exists. Sheikh al Islam Rutimiya rahimahullah said, The opinion of those who maintain that whoever is related to the deceased through a certain person is prevented from inheritance by the same person is invalid in every respect. For over, forward and backward. On the, on, on the one hand, not every who is related to deceased by someone is prevented by the latter from inheritance. To illustrate, maternal half-brother, maternal half-brother, or a sister is not prevented from inheritance by the existence of the mother, right? They're not in here. The, you know, the mother does not block them, right? On the other, if the deceased has a son who has died, the latter son prevents the deceased's paternal uncle from inheritance, right? He does. You understand? Like a, son, a, a, a man dies, he leaves a son. Yeah, the, uh, the, uh, he blocks the uncle from, uh, also the aunts also is blocked. What about their children, the cousins? Same thing, they're blocked. And this happens a lot. And people, uh, they, some of the uncles, they fight over inheritance and they, it, 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 they, are not, they are not entitled for it. They're not actually entitled for it. They fight over it. They want to get their share, but they, it's, not, it's, not pro it's prohibited for them to take it. It was in, in the presence of the son. The Sheikh said, there are other examples showing that the exclusion of a person 
from inheritance can be through the existence of someone whom the former does not relate to the deceased. Rather, the real reason is that whoever gets the share of another is excluded from the inheritance by the latter's existence, provided the latter is closer to ki in kingship to the deceased. Since the grandmothers replace the mother in inheritance, in case the latter is absent, means dead, they are excluded from inheritance by the mother's existence, even if they do not relate the mother to the deceased, and Allah knows best. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us all al ilm al nafi' al amal salih, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wa alihi wa sallam, 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 wa sall